How are you doing, Okana? Today we are reviving and refreshing my natural hair. This is a step by step guide to wash day. Wash day is one of the longest days for me as my hair has been extremely, extremely dry and very brittle. And I'm just trying to bring it back to life. You can see I'm starting off with a hot oil therapy. This is an oil that I got from Stunned Beauty. I just added to hot waters for about like 10 minutes before I start applying it to my scalp as I don't want to burn my scalp with oil. But I apply that all over my scalp and to the roots of my hair while massaging it into my hair. Um, I mean hot oil treatment, it's supposed to assist with oiling the scalp and moisturizing the scalp but also as a cleansing method before washing my hair. So this is a pre-poo step. I think that's how they call it, a pre poo step before I start with the actual wash. that I apply the hot oil treatment section by section this can be tedious and it can be so messy I'm not even gonna lie about that so I'm um, just make sure you're wearing like old clothes or clothes that you know you're not gonna be too stressed about but yeah I do this section for section starting from the back and using my fingers to section it off because it's such a messy thing I prefer to keep tools to a minimum which means it's my fingers and the nozzle and as I'm applying I'm actually massaging the oil into my scalp and into the roots just to make sure everything is coated um what works for me might not work for you this is a method that has proven to work for me and so far so good i don't know if this is the reason why my hair has ended up being extremely dry i don't know but you know it's trial and error so as i go on i guess i will try and figure out what is going on with my hair So after I'm finished applying the hot oil therapy to my hair, I go in by massaging my scalp using my fingers before I go in with a scalp massager. I can't remember where I got the scalp massager, but it's so nice. It is so soft. It's like a silicone based scalp massager, so it's not too harsh on my scalp. And this just assists the product that I just put on to draw into my scalp and into my roots and also to stimulate the scalp as it's supposed to help with hair growth i'm still waiting to see that <laughs> and then i go in by 
um, sectioning off my hair, detangling with a white tooth comb, and then applying the hot oil treatment once again to the rest of my hair, like to the rest of my hair. Then I go in with twist just to lock all that in, put it in little bantu knots. I do this across my whole head before I go in with a plastic shower cap or a bag to lock in the oil and then I wait for a good like 20 minutes 25 minutes before I go on to the next step <laughs> That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby. Whichever is faster. Uh, whichever one is in the house. Oh, damn, yeah. Oh, never knew. No, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend, too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait. Fuck your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get. Now that the 20 minutes is over, on to the next step, which is wash step. So the first thing I do is I run hot water on my hair. And while the hot water is running through my hair, I undo the Bantu twist knots that I put in. Um, this was just make it easier for me to also wash my hair. I don't know, like a lot of people be washing their hair in protective styles and I just can't do it. Especially on my natural hair. I don't mind washing my hair when it's in braids. But if my hair is just in my natural hair protective style, then that is something else. So you can see I'm undoing it and the water is running through just to get like the oil out. I know it's not going to be completely, completely out, but it is a step. And you can see already like the water is like milky. The water that's coming, dripping off my hair is milky. Then I go in with the organic shampoo look. I have tried natural hair shampoos and they just don't work for me. So I'll go back to what I know. Hence why I'm using the organic shampoo. I lather that on my hair. I scrub. I do everything that I need to do to make sure that my scalp is cleansed and that my hair is cleansed. You can see the lather of the shampoo. Like it's a lot. And to be honest, I don't care because for me it just feels like my hair is then clean, you know. After I'm washing my scalp and my hair, giving it a good scrub, I rinse out the shampoo in hot water. I'm not about the lukewarm life. I don't shower in warm water and I do not wash my hair in lukewarm water. I wash it in hot water. So as I'm washing it, I make sure that I am washing out all the shampoo. I try my best to wash out all the shampoo, even if it's like running my fingers through my scalp, like repeatedly, and making sure that the water is running clear. Before I go in with this hair mask, this hair mask is from Dark and Lovely. I apply it all over my hair in the shampoo, or not in the shampoo, in the shower. <laughs> so this is after shampooing my hair, and then I apply the hair mask to my hair. I make sure, or oh, I try my best to cover like every strand of my hair whether it's the pulling method the praying method the whatever method that works for me you can see like my hair is already falling out but i do think this is because my hair is shedding and then in the shower while the hair mask is on my hair i detangle with a white tooth comb this works for me it works for me might not work for you but i do this in the shower because my my hair i don't know if it's shedding or falling out but it sheds slashes falls out a lot that i prefer to do this in the shower which makes it so much easier to clean the shower when i'm all done look at those coils they are giving uh, I actually do like my hair. I have like a love-hate relationship with my hair. So when I see my hair looking like this, it gives me so much joy. But then I'm like, why is it so much work to maintain my hair? So the hair mask, I usually leave it in for a good 5 to 10 minutes 
before rinsing it out. When we lie, yes. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I fuck your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencil suit. Here you go, you try to tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said, I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know, I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always oh, just another interlude. Asking all the questions, girl, you know I don't do interviews It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you Oh, you work at Coles, you in dental school Wife and now you floating clothes, cooking dinner too Young Tiller, girl, I'm known as Pen Griffey too It's only right that I swing by and hit it too First base, second base, third base I'm trying to get you in your birthday oh, I know these other niggas thirsty But please never entertain them Cause that would hurt me, you feel me? Yeah. Before rinsing out the mask, I did go in and scalp once again and detangle once again. I don't know why. I guess it's just a force of habit. And then after rinsing out my scalp, I go in with the organics conditioner. Like I said, like I've tried natural hair conditioner. I've tried natural hair products, and it's it doesn't leave my hair the way I wanted to leave it. So I'm going in with the conditioner. I put a nice amount of the conditioner on, and I read the instructions. Because I just feel sometimes we do what we want to do when it comes to conditioner and we don't really read the instructions. Conditioner is not supposed to be used as a leave-in conditioner unless it states so on the bottle. So I also rinse that all out and I towel dry my hair. Especially if I know that, oh no, a tea should dry my hair. Especially if I know that I want to maintain the curl pattern and I won't be blow drying my hair. Um, just before styling or doing whatever, I go in with water, I mist that all over my hair once again. I know my hair is damp, but sometimes I feel like because I have low porosity hair, aka as per the YouTube people, my hair doesn't absorb as much moisture as it should. Then I go in with this, I think it's Millie, I hope I'm saying it right. Mali or Mali um, leave-in conditioner. I got this as a sample so it was the first time trying out this leave-in conditioner and I would most definitely try it again. It left my hair feeling so soft, moisturized and it made the detangling so much easier. Um, so I detangle my hair with a white tooth comb all the way. It works for me. Um, I don't even know the reason why I use a white tooth comb. I guess it's because that is what the YouTube world or YouTube girlies said to do. But I detangle my whole head to make sure that my hair is fully detangled and that the leave-in conditioner is distributed evenly all over my hair. Before I go in with MPL oil, this is the coconut one. Guys, I've been using MPL since a child. My mom used to use MPL on my hair, so I'm just continuing the tradition. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a certain way to use it, but this is what works for me. And I think people call this the lock method, I think, or the LCO method. But I just used the liquid, which was the water, followed by the cream, which was the leave-in conditioner, and then the oil, which was the MPL oil, before I kind of styled my hair. This is my take on a wash and go. It's easy to do, um, less tension on my hair, and so much easier to style, especially with the hot weather. But I do notice that if I leave my hair in a shrunken state, it tends to tangle more. I don't know, that's just a me thing. But this is it, Dichomi. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Bye, Dichomi. I know you feel me. Oh, I know you feel me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Huh. Girl, I know you feel me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So much to live for, too, baby. Well, let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it when we get.